I'm really excited to talk to you today about pulling toxins out of your body. We certainly have looked at the numbers of toxins that can be present that can interfere with your hormones and heck, just lower your health. And so today I wanna to talk to you about how to pull some of those out. Because the fact is you can only urinate, have bowel movements and sweat so much. You have toxins stored in your body from years and years of exposure. So let's talk about how to get those out. First of all, detoxification comes in sort of gradients, in degrees of, um, of the depth of detox. There are a few things that you can do every single day. One of them, drink enough water. You can see I don't have my water in a plastic water bottle. I do have a filter at home that I use and um, the Berkey filter is a really good one. I have a Berkey. Um, also, I have a reverse osmosis filter that I then add minerals to. Either one of those is a wonderful, wonderful water filter system. And then I just fill up these stained glass uh, containers and take them with me. It's great. But you need to take how many pounds you weigh, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces of water you should have in a normal day. Now, there's another thing, this lovely skin brush. This is a great thing you can do every single day. And what you're gonna do is brush, moving always toward your heart, because that's the way the lymph fluid flows in your body. So skin brushing gets the circulation going, it flakes off the top dead layer of skin cells. You might think, ooh, this is gonna be rough for my skin, but actually your skin becomes more and more beautiful the longer you do it. And then the other thing is it helps cellulate. So if you have any problem areas on your body, you can brush those as well. It's best to do it on dry skin. So just keep it in your bathroom and do it before you pop in the shower. It only takes a minute or two to do it. You don't have to do it for a super long time. And it makes a big, big difference. Again, back to the atomic habits. That's a little thing, doesn't take much time, right into your routine, but makes a big difference. And then I wanna talk about your bowels. It's very important that you have bowel movements minimally once a day, preferably twice a day. But um, there are lots of simple things you can do. Water is one of them. Fiber is another one. Good old fashioned, eat a prune at night, you know, all of those things are tried and true and they work. And that would be your first thing to look to uh, before you start taking something to force yourself to have a bowel movement. Now, um, those are the daily detox things you can do. There are other things you can do a few times a week that are also very, very helpful. One is just taking a nice hot bath with a cup of Epsom salts. The Epsom salts will pull toxins out through the skin while you're enjoying your soap. And uh, they also do pull minerals. So if you will pour yourself a nice uh, glass of coconut water and sip on coconut water while you're in the tub, that puts the minerals in to replace what the Epsom salts might be um, pulling out. And you can do that one or two times a week. Then um, uh, sauna. We're gonna talk about sauna a little bit more at the end, but that is also something that you can do a few times a week. Hot yoga, if you've ever tried that and you like it, that is, you know, gives you similar benefits to a sauna. Not exactly the same, but enough the same that it counts if you have that available and you like it. Now, there are some detoxes that you only wanna do maybe once or twice a year. One of them would be a medical food detox like the OptiCleanse or the UltraClear. These are full of nutrients and herbs that open up your kidneys, liver, lymphatic system to be able to dump more toxicity out. It's very, very important that you know that when you do a detoxification program, you should not feel worse. You're gonna hear a lot of people say, you have to feel worse before you feel better. Not true. If you feel worse, you're shedding these toxins faster than you can actually get them out through your urine, bowel movements, etc. And they recirculate and start damaging you. So you only detox to the pace that your body can handle. Now, if you don't want to go with a program like this, 
there's a wonderful online detox program you can do called Whole30. And it's just uh, you're cutting things out of your diet that tend to slow down metabolism, and you will have some level of detox with that. Some detoxifications do have to be medically supervised. That would be things like intravenous uh, therapy, chelate, this is called chelation therapy, to more aggressively pull heavy metals out. Things like colon hydrotherapy. Those are things that you're, you should be working with a practitioner who can advise you on whether that's right for you. Those are not right for everyone. And then fasting, like a water fast or a juice fast, that's a lot more aggressive than um, a Whole30 or a medical food fast. Those should actually be supervised by someone as well. My favorite way of detoxifying is with the sauna. So I want to expound on that a little bit. Not long ago, there was a 21-year study in Finland that finished and the results became available. And you can search this online. It's pretty incredible. So, you know, in Finland, sauna is a normal part of the lifestyle there. And so they had a great, huge group of men and women that they were able to follow over a 21-year period and compare them with others who didn't sauna and see what the differences are. It is beyond incredible. People who did a sauna for uh, two to three times per week saw a reduction in death from any cause, diabetes, heart disease, any of it. All cause mortality was lowered by 24%. Can you believe that? That's like incredible. People who saunaed four to seven times a week actually saw a 40% reduction in death from any cause. When you think about that, there's nothing else available, nothing else I've ever heard of in all my years doing this that has that kind of an impact on your health. So look at your list of things that you can do. Again, I keep coming back to atomic habits. You think, okay, a soap once a week with a cup of Epsom salts, like really what's that doing for me? But as this becomes a part of your lifestyle and you're getting these toxins out at a faster pace, you know, brushing your skin every day, these are little things that really, really make a big, big difference in your health. So it's been my pleasure to bring this to you.